In this video, I am going to discuss about solving transportation problem using least cost entry method. Consider the following transportation problem and determine the initial basic feasible solution using least cost entry method. In this transportation problem, we have three sources. The green color cells are sources S1, S2 and S3. And we have four destinations D1, D2, D3 and D4. The material must be transported from three sources to four destinations. The cells which are shown in blue color contains a cost. This is the material, it is the cost of transporting the material from three sources to four destinations. And this problem is minimization problem because we are taking into consideration the cost. We want to minimize the cost. The initial basic feasible solution which we are going to get should show the minimum cost for us. If these values are profit, we will be having maximization problem. But this case we have cost, so we are going to consider minimization problem. Least cost entry method has three methods again. Row minima method, column minima method, matrix minima method. In this case, we are using matrix minima method. What is matrix minima method means in the cost values what we have in blue color, we must consider the least value only. First, we must select the least value, allocate the material. After that, consider the next least cell. In this way, we are going to allocate all the material from source to destination. Let us start the analysis. First, the least value is 2, right? Now, among the available cost, 2 is a minimum value. So, first, the material need to be allocated for this cell. This cell is between S1 source to destination D2. Okay, how much material can be allocated? See, source S1 can give 15 units and destination D2 can receive 15 units so 15 will be allocated now see i'm allocating 15 now once i allocate 15 destination require 15 15 is allocated source uh, can give s1 can give 15 15 is allocated so both are going to be striked now once the conditions are satisfied i'm going to remove them from analysis that is source s1 can give 15 so 15 is allocated i'm removing it in the same way, destination D2 can also receive 15 units. So, 15 units allocated. So, I am removing it from analysis. Now, remaining cells. You can see the blue color are, are cost cells which are available. Among these values, which is a least, 4 will be the least. Right? Now, I am going to allocate material for this. And this is between source S3 to destination D1. How many units can be allocated? See, source S3 can give 10 units and destination D1 can receive 5 units. So, 5 can be allocated because 5 is less. I am allocating 5. Once 5 is allocated, now destination 5 total satisfied. And source S3, from 10 we have allocated 5. So, 5 is removed. 10 minus 5, 5 I got it. So, I am removing destination D1 because... Total destination required 5, 5 is allocated. Now, how many values are there? 4 values are available. Now, among these 4 values, which is the least one? 9 is least. So, for 9, how many can be allocated? 15 can be allocated. Because S2 can give 25 units. D3 can receive only 15. So, I am allocating only 15 units. And once I have allocated 15 units, D3 total 15 units are allocated now source s2 from 25 15 we are minusing so i'll be having 10 right now d3 is also removed from analysis because total satisfied now i have only two values 20 and 18 within this less one is least one is 18 so for 18 now i must allocate the material it is between s3 to d4 
now s3 has how many units five d4 has 15 so i can allocate five once i have allocated five s3 totally values are completed and d3 from 15 5 is removed now i have 10. now the last one that is remaining is only 20. now 20 how many i can allocate okay s2 can give 10 and d4 can take 10 both are matching so i am allocating 10 so i have allocated 10 so d4 destination is satisfied and s2 quota is also completed now what happened that is also removed from analysis and total all sources s1 s2 s3 are sent and destinations d1 d2 d3 d4 the required quota is received the problem is now completed now let us calculate the costs now to calculate cost what we must do multiply the cost into number of units first 4 into 5 plus 2 into 15 plus 9 into 15 plus 20 into 10 plus 18 into 5 multiply and add we will be getting 475 so this is the total cost of transportation rupees 475 is a cost and this is a minimum cost which we have calculated using least cost method and this is called initial basic feasible solution 475 is a least cost using least cost method thank you